going to try and do this with the mic because if I have to yell, I'm just going to start to rant, and I've done more than my share of rants this week. Some of which is the budget cuts, and some of which are babies that have been granted because they're galactically unqualified. So I would rather try and, and, and uh, you know maintain my comfort. First, I just say ditto to everything that some of you make. I hope you appreciate the healthy skepticism of everyone sitting here in this room at the notion that you don't already have not just a plan sitting on someone's desk, but an approved plan sitting on someone else's desk. I heard the exact same thing from DOE before they closed Tilden, before they closed South Shore, before they closed Canarsie, and they told me, oh, we have no plans, and we have no schools, and then when we had the hearing, all of the new schools were sitting here introducing themselves. So, you know, you've earned the skepticism of the people in this room and from the elected officials in this city and state. So, you know, you can... take two approaches, the first of which would be to take you at your word that there is no plan. In that case, I think you've heard from this community with one voice, it's elected officials, it's school officials, and I know that they don't seem to count for a whole heck of a lot down in Queens, but your professional educators here in the community and from your parents. You do not want a separate session high school in the same building with our junior high school kids. That's not what we've ever asked for. That's not what we want. We would like this building run in the best way. We have good leadership at 278 right now. I know one of the things that has been asked for is a NEST program. There's certainly is a need for an S program in this area, in this school district. Uh, I, you know, I can tell you from my work on the council that autism is something that we are just really coming to grips with. There are, I think, one in 18 kids are born with some spectrum of autism disorder. It, 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 it's clearly something that we need uh, in Southern Brooklyn. I think that's a perfectly good suggestion. Second, I'll take you, now we'll go with the part where I'm not taking you anymore. All right? And that you, in fact, had a plan to put an independent school in our building. And because we do not have the miracle of an election year like we did with HLA, that you're going to shove it down our throat. Doesn't make us happy, and we won't fight any less hard. But I would say to you that if you are going to shove that down our throat, at least make it a music and art school <laughs> with an application preference for the kids who are going to 278. Because at least, even though that is not what we are asking for, and we do not want a second school in the building, at least that would give this community some measure of what they've been asking for for a long time. We rather you just make that IS 278 a uh, you know uh, you know six to twelve have one principal one school, but you know I, I I have to tell you folks I say the skepticism and I don't believe that we're really coming here with a blank slate. Right? So if you're if you are coming here and pardon the expression speaking with forky tongue, at least you can try. Yeah. Try to work with this community for what they've been asking for and for something that is at least moderately consistent with what IS 278 has built over many, many years, which is a quality education and a quality program for music and the arts. So please take that back to the flat. that she is going to be the chancellor on January 1st. We'd really like to get off on the right foot. I'm going to try. I really, really am. I'm asking you to try. Thank you.